Hey Taurus, it's Dana. Deep Thoughts with Dana. How have you been? It's been a good long minute, hasn't it? I didn't do anything in December. I didn't post anything. Um, I think I posted one video, but anyway, took the month of December off to finish up Tarot School, and I am so proud to say that I have, have finally published Tarot School. Everybody that's been waiting for it, it's ready to go. Um, there's a link in the box below. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com will take you to Tarot School and you can check it out. It's seven videos just like this. Me and you talking just like this. Seven videos going through the entire deck of the tarot. And at the end, I actually teach you how to read the cards. So yeah, if you're interested, check it out. It's affordable for everybody. So yeah, deepthoughtswithdana.com. So that's what I've been doing in my month of December. I have been putting the finishing touches on tarot school and it's finally completed and ready for you guys if you so choose. All right, what else? Um, what else? As usual, this is a general reading for the collective of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading might resonate with you. However, even if this reading resonates with you, I can promise you, bar none, this is not your personal reading, okay? Do you know how absolutely impossible it would be for this to be your personal reading? Thousands and thousands of people out there, for this to be your reading is just like literally astronomically impossible. So, that being said, you may see yourself anywhere in this reading. You may see the thread of this reading going through your life. This may not have happened for you yet. You might be in the thick of it. It could be over for you. The only way to get absolute 100% confirmation and clarity, understanding wisdom and guidance, is to have your cards read. If you'd like your cards read by me, again, deepthoughtswithdana.com, link in the box below. I have my cards read by a fellow YouTube reader. Her name is Miriam Kramer, and she has a channel called Point Your Compass. She's awesome. She's awesome. She is amazing. So glad to be back. I'm so glad to be putting out a big old reading for Taurus. I just did Pisces a little while ago, and I am just, I'm just ready. Let's do it. All right, bullpen. What we got going on here? What we got? So I'm, I'm using um, the Thoth deck as the root cards, and I'm using uh, Rider Weight as the clarifying cards, okay? The root cards are spirit talking to you. The clarifying cards are you talking to spirit, okay? Um, except for the major arcana. When the major arcana come out in the clarifying cards, that is spirit responding to you. It's a, it's a conversation that we have going here, okay? We have a thread of a story. I have the classic Dana 15 card spread. This is not a spread that you can find any place else. This is my own spread. This is how I read the cards. So I have 15 root cards and then a shit ton of clarifiers on top of it. So let's talk about what's going on here, okay? So Spirit says with the Two of Swords that there's some peace. There's so You have found some peace. Somehow, some way, Taurus, you have found some peace in your life. You have made peace with something. This is a respite from a mentally difficult situation. You have found some peace. Two, virtue. This is about morality. It's about taking the high road. It's about right and wrong. So somewhere along the line, you have come to a place of peace Regarding a choice that you have made in the realm of morality and right and wrong, okay? What is this about? Well, this is about the King of Wands. Welcome back, King of Wands. If y'all are new to this channel, first of all, I swear. Second of all, this King of Wands has been haunting Taurus's reading since January of last year, almost a year. This King of Wands has been in and out of the Taurus readings, okay? Um, so the King of Wands, but this time he's in reverse, right? Mm -hmm. This time he's in reverse. See, in the upright, he's charming and we got feels for him and he's romantic and he's attractive. He, because it is a king, right? The, the masculine takes on the masculine and the feminine takes on the feminine. So this King of Wands, right? We used to have it for this King of Wands. But this time he's coming up in reverse. In reverse, he's a dickhead, okay? 
In reverse, he is somebody that's not so nice, the classic narcissist. He's rude, he's arrogant, he's prideful. He, um, he's, he's the opposite of what we saw attractive in him in the first place, okay? So this King of Wands is in reverse, which tells me that you have let go of the idealistic fantasy of who this King of Wands is, and you've turned him upside down, and you're seeing him for who he truly is right now. He, she, doesn't matter, okay? If your mind is so small that you can't identify with a male energy or a female energy, I don't even want to hear about it, okay? So he, as in the King of Wands, we have finally figured out that this King of Wands was not all that he was cracked up to be. To the page of swords in reverse. Because there was all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. The Eight of Pentacles. There was talk and promises, promises, okay, of building something, building something, creating something, working something out, gaining mastery, working on a relationship, an engagement of some sort with the King of Wands. But it's all talk, no action, undelivered promises because it never materialized, right? It never materialized. And therefore, Taurus uh, just, just split. Taurus got in the little, the little, water taxi there and just took off right this is a card about no time to no no time to waste okay you are wasting my time and i am leaving and that's what taurus did that's why the king of wands is in reverse because we no longer see him as oh, the king of wands we see him as ugh, the king of wands in reverse no less right arrogant, narcissistic. King of Wands in reverse was all talk, no action, undelivered promises when it comes to, when it comes to engaging and building something with one another. And Taurus said, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya, and left. Okay? Taurus left it behind. That's where the peace comes in. Okay? That's where the peace comes in. You have peace because you've seen this for exactly what it is and you left and this brought peace to your soul to virtue right a standard of right and wrong morality you came to the conclusion that this is wrong okay i think you may have given this king of wands the benefit of the doubt and lo and behold he 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 showed up with all talk no action talking a big game but not working a big game and so taurus took off okay Taurus left. And this is what brings peace. Peace peace comes to you because you realized at some point, um, and I don't know if this is past, present, or future yet, as we get through this reading, we'll know. But at some point, you left this King of Wands person. Okay? You left him. You left him. Okay. Okay. The Knight of Discs. Knights are action cards. Okay? This is an action I do believe that this is a message coming from this King of Wands in reverse, okay? I do believe that this is a message being delivered about um, the future, about looking at the landscape of life and moving into the future. And I'm going to tell you why I believe it's a message, okay? So it's a long time coming, um, maybe some kind of an apology. But it's been a long time coming because you left with that Six of Swords and you ain't been back since, right? You haven't been back since. So lo and behold, here comes this slow-moving energy. It's taken a long time and they're bringing you a message of the future, okay? To the moon puts you, Taurus, because this is a root card, right? This is a message about the future, that's the root. Taurus comes on top of it with the moon and searching your subconscious mind, searching your intuition, right? Trying to make some sense out of some kind of, of slow moving communication that has come into you. To the seven of swords in reverse. This is posing a mental challenge for you because in the past there was nothing but betrayal and deceit and shady behavior, lying, cheating, stealing behavior in the past. So now that this 
that this message is coming into you with the Knight of, of um, Pentacles, right? Puts you in your subconscious mind, struggling with your subconscious mind, digging into your intuition, and, and you have some mental challenges because in the past, all you got was all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Puts you in the hangman energy where you are pausing, you're processing, you're trying to come out on the other side with a with a new perspective about everything that's happening here. You're in your subconscious mind. You're challenged by what has happened in the past. And you are um, really struggling with making some kind of a decision. Because look, the Princess of Discs. This is the Page of Pentacles. There is the manifestation of a new opportunity to the Two of Cups in the realm of some kind of significant relationship. We don't have to be talking about love here. We can be talking about a partnership, family, children, friends, right? But there is a message. Remember I said this night of... Uh, this Knight of Discs was a message, right? It's a message of the manifestation of a new beginning. That's what the message is. The manifestation of a new beginning, which puts Taurus in their subconscious mind, struggling with their subconscious mind, fear, anxiety, mental challenges about all the bullshit that the, all the all talk, no action, undelivered promises from the past and leaves you in the hangman energy, processing and thinking about... The manifestation of a new opportunity in the realm of the Two of Cups, in the realm of some kind of significant relationship with this King of Wands. Okay? Root card, Five of, five of, of Wands, Strife, Tension, Conflict. Strife, tension, and conflict. That is, at, that is the root of what's happening here. Strife, tension, and conflict. Why? Well, because of the emperor in reverse, because, because I think this emperor in reverse is the same character as the king of wands in reverse right here. And you might be dealing with the Pisces because the Pisces reading had both the king of wands in reverse and the emperor in reverse in it. Okay. Um, so there's strife, tension, and conflict about this person, the emperor in reverse, who is bringing in messages of a two of cups of manifesting something and, and looking into the future, right? This emperor in reverse, right? He used to be the emperor for you. You used to think this was the shit, but not anymore because there's undelivered promises. Not anymore. It's causing strife, tension, conflict in your mental, in your passions, in your passions, okay? Because all you can think about is the Ten of Cups in reverse, the misalignment of values, the breakup that happened before, right? To injustice, the grievous injustice that this emperor in reverse caused you. And now you're sitting and thinking about this message that's coming in about getting together, and it's causing a lot of conflict, a lot of conflict with the wands energy. The wands energy is about our inspirations and our passions, right? So you're very conflicted in the realm of, of passion and inspiration as to whether you want to move forward with this emperor that, that there was a misalignment of values in a breakup with in the past that has created some kind of massive injustice for you in your life. But look, the Knight of Wands, there's inspired action being taken, coming towards you. There is an inspired, passionate message coming towards you about creating something new in the realm of a significant relationship from the Emperor in reverse, King of Wands in reverse, okay? He's coming towards you, but look at this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands, this isn't really serious energy, okay? It might be inspired action, but it's not really serious energy. Because the Knight of Wands, he's he's fire, right? And as long as as long as the fire's being fed, he's all inspired about it. But as soon as the fire stops being fed, what happens? It dwindles out and it starts to smolder and it eventually goes out. So this energy is the same energy 
uh, of the of the king of wands in reverse right am i making sense i hope i hope you're grabbing onto the fact that this inspired action these messages that are coming in about a two of cups relationship to reunite with the three of cups is passionate but i don't know maybe that's all that there is Maybe that's all there is. It's a root card. Spirit is saying that it's it's inspired, passionate action coming towards you. Inspired, passionate action coming towards you to reunite with the Three of Cups. To reunite, right? From the Emperor in reverse. Somebody who has lost their throne of power in your life, right? You knocked this Emperor right off his throne, right? You knocked him right off of his throne, and it's, and it's creating strife and tension and conflict in your life. Because there was a misalignment of values and a breakup in the past and a grievous injustice. Some kind of grievous injustice because of the all talk, no action, the undelivered promises. Uh-oh. Okay. Interference with the Eight of Swords in the center of your reading. This is about a, a mental state of being that is um, that is um, occupying your energy. Okay, in your head, thinking and thinking and thinking. Eights are about movement, action, and change. So, what are you thinking about in the center of this reading? Interference. What are you thinking about? You're thinking about the movement, the action that you need to take to create the change that needs to be made in this situation because you're faced with, with messages of creating a new beginning. You're faced with messages of creating a new beginning and now you're all tied up in your head thinking about how it is you're going to move forward, what it is you're going to do to change the situation one way or the other, right? One way or the other. Eight of Cups. This is about abandonment. Abandonment. To the Seven of Wands in reverse. This is about giving up. Abandonment and giving up. That's what's in your mind, right? That's what happened in the past. You abandoned this situation. You gave up on this situation because somebody was all talk and no action, undelivered promises, and you gave up. And now you're in your mind thinking, oh my God. What do I do about this? What do I do about this situation? Well, Major Arcana Temperance comes in and says, be cool. That's what you do about this situation. You be cool. You sit on it and you gather all of the facts of the situation and you just be cool about it. Okay? Temperance, balance, patience, purpose, moderation. Don't jump into anything. Don't make any wild, crazy decisions. Just sit on it in the Eight of Swords energy for a minute. Just sit on it. Princess of Cups. This is a message of creation. That's what you're sitting on, right? This message of creation. This person is sending you a message to create something. Not only a message of creation, but the Ace of Wands on top of it. A message of creation to create a passionate new beginning. But spirit comes in with temperance and says, just be, be cool. Just sit still. Just sit still. Because failure is what's in your face. Failure. This whole thing was a massive failure in the past. A massive waste of time and a massive failure. Now, relationships that go south are not a waste of time. I just want to clarify that, okay? Every relationship that we come into, whether it's a love relationship or otherwise, is teaches us, if, if we're cognizant and spiritually elevated, it teaches us something about ourself, okay? But see, you left this relationship with the Six of Swords in the past. So what you've learned from this relationship has already happened. And now that it's resurfacing, what you're thinking about is failure with the Seven of, of Pentacles. Reflecting and assessing on the investment that you made before. And is it worth it to make an investment like this again? 
Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There is a misalignment of values somewhere, somehow, between the two of you. You're just not on the same page. Okay, you want something different than they want. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of fire energy on this table. Okay, a bunch of fire energy. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. Okay, we have the emperor, which is Aries. We have the king of wands, which is Aries, right? To me, they're also Scorpio, but that's me as a reader. Um, you could be dealing with fire energy. Um, or you could be dealing with somebody that has fire in their chart or somebody that just takes on some kind of really enthusiastic, fiery type of energy. And that can be a problem with a Taurus because we're so grounded, right? Taurus, Taurus likes to fly the kite, not be the kite, okay? Taurus likes stability and structure and all of this fire energy that's pouring into this reading really sets Taurus off balance, right? Really, really sets Taurus off balance. This is like somebody showing up at my door and saying, hey, you want to go out right now? And I'm like, no, I need at least two hours to plan for this because quite frankly, um, I'm just chilling. I'm chilling. I need to wrap my mind around it and actually move in that direction. I'm not going to, I know it's uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable. And that's what this person is doing. They're showing up your door and they're at your door and they're saying, Taurus, let's go. Let's get back at this. Let's get back at this. I don't care what happened in the past. Let's get back at this. And Taurus is like, uh, <laughs> I don't know about all of that because it was a gigantic failure in the past. And there is a true misalignment of values between us. We don't want the same thing. See, I'm a Taurus and I want this Ten of Pentacles upright. I want structure, foundation, stability. I want security in a relationship in my life. And quite frankly, bro or sis, you don't bring this. You don't bring it. You're not bringing it. You're not bringing what I need. Okay works the material establishment of an idea to disappointment with the five of cups loss regret disappointment despair to the five of pentacles worry left out in the cold so what's this about so the material establishment of an idea with the three of discs is 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 being presented to you right root card root card the source is saying this is being presented to you this is being presented to you but be careful because you know what happened in the past with the five of cups disappointment loss regret despair you know what happened in the past so this idea of coming together is being presented to you Taurus but be very careful because you know where it got you last time Taurus comes on top and says, yeah, I do. It got me in the Empress in reverse, right? Complete and utter um, um, disconnection. Complete and utter, utter stopping of creation. See, the Empress upright, she's about creation and abundance. And in reverse, it's like, no, there's no creation. There's no abundance. It got me, it, it shook everything out of me. And it really, really took me a good long minute to get a hold of myself after this whole thing went, went down, right? So no creation is happening. No creation to the three of pentacles in reverse. This is about a lack of teamwork and collaboration, but it's also about a disregard for skills. This person did not appreciate you for who you were in the past. What makes you think that they're going to appreciate you for who you are now, right? That's where the disappointment, the loss, the regret is coming in. And then we have the five of wands in reverse. This is an increased focus on goals. Now they want an increased focus on goals, right? They didn't appreciate me when they had me, but now they want to, to, to have a focus on, on, on resurrecting this relationship. Spirit says disappointment. Remember the disappointment. Five of pentacles, worry, worry insecurity and worry 
in the realm of security because it's pentacles, right? Earth energy. That's all we think about is security. That's, I mean, that's what we do all day, every day is create security for ourselves, right? So the five of pentacles, uh, the five of discs here is talking about um, being concerned with your security in this relationship, being concerned with your security in the high priestess energy, right? Doing some soul searching and some introspection about this, searching your subconscious mind, maybe even throwing up a prayer and saying, spirit, why would you bring this into my life? What is there for me to learn from this? And I think this is a very important question that you need to ask yourself, Taurus. What do you need to learn? This is presenting itself again because something wasn't sewn, so, sewn up. Something wasn't sewn up proper in the past. And you're being presented with this whole opportunity again to move into the future. And Taurus is really searching their subconscious mind and their intuition because they don't trust this situation. Four of Cups in reverse. This is a lost opportunity, right? Just it, just, it was a lost opportunity and now it's all coming around. The Wheel in reverse, cycle closure. Taurus already done closed this out. Taurus already closed this out in all four um, elements, right? You closed it out in your emotions. You closed it out in your mental. You closed it out in your security aspect. And you closed it out in your feelings, okay? This is already closed out. This is cycle closure. And this is made major arcana. This is spirit saying, remember, Taurus, you've already closed this out once before. And you it took you a long time to pull yourself together from it the first time. Remember what happened the last time. To the Hierophant, commitment, right? Right? What do these cards say? These cards say that you worry about your security in this situation. You worry about your security. Searching your subconscious mind and your intuition because you are worried about your security because this has been an injustice in the past. Who wants to do that again? It's a lost opportunity. You chalked it up as a loss. You moved on from it. You closed out the cycle. You moved on from it to the Hierophant. Taurus, right? Taurus elevating spiritually from whatever this situation was for you, okay? Closed it out, got healthy again, pulled it all together, and you elevated spiritually. You did learn something from this the first time around, Taurus, but you're holding out, you're holding out hope that perhaps this time around it could be the commitment that you're looking for. You are. You're holding out hope that this time around this could be the commitment that you're looking for. Prudence with the eight of discs. This is about making wise and discerning decisions, governing oneself out of logic. Okay? And that's what you're trying to do. This is a root card. This is spirit saying, Taurus, Govern yourself with logic and reasoning so you can make prudent and wise decisions in this situation. To the Two of Swords at a crossroads. Prudent, wise decisions because you are at a crossroads and the decisions that you make from this point forward um, are going to dictate, are going to dictate your life. Am I saying this is going to be a forever and always? No, but the decision you make right now is going to change your life. It is. For the good, for the bad, for the indifferent, either way, either way, it's going to change your life. And you are at a crossroads and Spirit is saying, be discerning and wise in your decision-making process. Remember who you're dealing with right here. Truce. This is a respite from a painful state of being. There is a truce. This is the decision-making process right here. This is how Taurus goes forward from this point forward. A respite from a painful mental situation. This is how you go forward. Spirit is saying that, that there, is, there is an answer to what's happening here. There is an answer to what's happening. 
Taurus comes in and says, yeah, but I don't know what to do. I'm contemplating in a defensive posture. What's my next move going to be? What am I going to do? The Four of Pentacles. I have stability and control right now. And I don't want to, I don't want to screw it up, right? I don't want to bring this person back into my life and have this massive, huge firestorm and then have it go again, right? Like the Five of Pentacles, right? You're worried about your security. Here, you're worried about your security too. The Four of Pentacles. This is lockdown, okay? Lockdown mode. So contemplating in a defensive posture in a very self-protective energy to the four of wands can you have structure foundation and stability can you have a harmonious relationship in this situation can you that's what you're thinking about queen of cups you have a lot of love for this person you do you do. You have a lot of love for this person. And them coming back around has stirred up those feelings again, right? That's why That's why prudence is right here at the crossroads. Because you have to use your mental because your emotions are all stirred up, right? Can't make decisions out of your emotions. You have to search with the high priestess your intuition, your intuition is the connection between your emotions and your passions and your intellect. That's your intuition. That's what pulls it all together and leads you in the direction that you need to go. But you're all in your feels here, here Taurus. All in your feels. Wondering if perhaps it has changed. Perhaps they have changed. Perhaps there can be stability and structure in this situation. But the burden and the struggle has been hard right? Like I said, you finally have cleared this out of your life and now here they come again. Here they come again and there is burden and struggle. You struggle with this person. You struggle with this situation and even though you left with the six of swords, it's taken you a good long minute to pull yourself together um, and now here it is again and you struggle with it. You struggle with your feelings about the situation. You struggle. Six of Cups in reverse. Is it unrealistic to consider reuniting or reconciling my differences with this person? Is it unrealistic? But also, you're stuck in the past with this card is to, it too. Because you're in your feelings, right? In your feelings, it's been a burden and a struggle. And this card kind of tells me that maybe you never really did give up hope that this person would come back around. Whatever it is for you. This is a general reading. I'm stuck to the if, ands, or buts instead of the who, what, why, when, where, and how. Right? In a, in a personal reading. This is amb ambiguous. I don't really know what I'm talking about here. All I know is that, all I know is Taurus is in their feels about this situation. They struggle with their feelings about this situation. They struggle because they're stuck in the past. They still love this person, but they think it might be unrealistic to invite them into their lives again. They're struggling because of lust. <laughs> this is a card about choosing between what is good for you and your desires. Okay, This is knowing that it's 1030 at night and I have ice cream in the freezer. <laughs> it's 1030 at night. I'm tired. I could just go to sleep. But man, I have some banana split or some hot fudge ice cream in the freezer. Do I get it or don't I? Do I do the right thing and just stay here and close my eyes and go to sleep? Or do I get up and mosey on over to the freezer and eat um, a big old bowl of hot fudge ice cream? What do I do? That's what this card is about. And that's what this card is about for you in this spread, right? This, this King of Wands, who's in reverse now, but at one point, this King of Wands was a big fat bowl of hot fudge ice cream, okay? Very, very tempting, very tempting to dip your spoon into that ice cream one more time. Very tempting. The Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficiency and independence. <sighs> But I'm so good now. I'm so good now. 
I really am. I'm so good now. But God, this is so tempting. It's so tempting, particularly if they've changed their ways, particularly if they're sincere about all of this, particularly. To the Two of Pentacles. Hold on, let me see what's what's coming here. Okay. Okay. So good, right? I'm really tempted to dip into this. I really am. But I'm good. I have self-sufficiency. I have brought a culmination to this situation. I'm good. I'm good. But the Two of Pentacles comes in, talking about balance and prioritization with this same Knight of Wands, right? Balance and prioritization. This person is bringing you a passionate message about prioritizing a relationship between the two of you. They are. They're bringing in a message about prioritizing the relationship between the two of you. Looky there, the Page of Cups. Finally, some feelings come in here, right? Their feelings. You have feelings, but finally their feelings are coming in. This is a message about creating something with you in the realm of feelings. It's small. It's an, an initial seedling, but nevertheless, there's being there's inspired action being taken to prioritize the creation of something between the two of you. The Eight of Wands. All kinds of communication about an energetic shift, a change between the two of you. And there's Taurus in the Five of Cups. Thinking about loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. But in the past, in the past, I don't know if I trust you. I do not know if I trust you enough to put down my defenses, to put my guard down and entertain what you're proposing here. I just don't know if I trust you. I just don't know. Gain. Material gain. The establishment of success. Nine, right? Fruition attainment, fulfillment. That's what's on the table. That's what's being offered. That's what's being offered. Change with the two of discs, a shift into stability. That's what's being offered. Material, material gain, a shift into stability. The king of swords, because some truth is being spoken. That's the change right here. The change is that some truth is being spoken. And this isn't negotiable truth, okay? This is, I do believe this is your truth, Taurus. Because you don't negotiate with the King of Wands, okay? This isn't a conversation, okay? You can conversate. Conversate? Is that a word? Conversate? You can have a conversation with the Queen of Wands, right? But you can't have a conversation with the King of Wands. This is Big Daddy right here. This is Big Daddy. His word is the final say. And I do believe that this is you returning like the boss you are. Okay? Returning all of this communication like the boss you are. And you're laying it down. My way or the highway. This is the way it has to be between us or it cannot be. Period. Yes or no. That's what this is. And that's what brings the change in here is because you are able to express yourself in this way. So your return to communication to all of this little communication that's coming into you is the boss bitch, right? Male or female, doesn't matter. The boss. This is the way it has to be. And if it can't be this way, it can't be. Take it or leave it. That's what Taurus is saying. To the Eight of Wands, swiftness, movement, action, change. This creates a change. It creates a change in the whole situation. You pondered. We went through all of your emotional, physical, mental processes in this reading, right? We went through all of it. And Taurus thought about it, processed all of it, and comes back with the King of Swords and says, All right, all right, this is the way it's going to be. If you can agree to this, perhaps. If you can't, sayonara. And then the Eight of Wands comes in and says that there is a an energetic shift 
that happens in this relationship because of the King of Swords communication from Taurus. There's a shift. Knight of Cups. The shift is about somebody being in touch with their emotions, in touch with their intuition, and prepared to move forward and offer their emotions in a situation. And I think this is Taurus. I think this is Taurus because you've spoken your truth. The Eight of Wands says that this communication has created an energetic shift in the situation and now Taurus can move. I think this is both of you. I swear this is both of you coming together in touch with your emotions and ready to share. Okay, ready to share. To the uh, Four of Wands, this is a card called Completion. This is the formation of structure and stability within a relationship. It's creating harmony. It's all of the pieces and elements in place to bring closure to what has been and move forward into what will be. The Prince of Cups. Again, the sharing of emotions, the creating of a relationship, success with the six of discs. I mean, just like straight up success. So once Taurus spoke their truth with the king of swords, everything shifted and everything is settling down and, and, and settling into place. The empress. Yep. Taurus, the Empress, this is you having absolute complete control and power over the situation. The ball is in your court. You laid down the law. Either this person does it or they don't. And they came back with the Prince of Cups and this whole success and the energetic shift and the Prince of Cups and the Knight of Cups and completion. This is the formation of an agreement to move forward in a relationship and there you are sitting in the throne of your power Taurus sitting in the throne of your power completely and totally on top of the situation completely and totally in control you got your mental in check you got your passions in check you got your emotions in check and you have your security in check you're feeling really good about the way this relationship is going to progress from this point forward yeah, in a position of power. Hold on. <coughs> in a position of power. You hold all the cards here. Because they're coming to you, little bitty. They're coming to you with pages and knights, right? Pages and knights, pages and knights. And Taurus shows up as the empress and the king of swords, no less, okay? The empress and the king of swords. You have all of the power in this situation. Look. Power. You have all of the power in this situation because they want this bad. They want this bad. And Taurus has all the power. Queen of Swords. To the Devil. The Queen of Wands. And Adjustment. To the Two of Cups in Reverse. What do these mean? Well, okay, so Taurus has all the power, right? Queen of Swords. This is their response okay so Taurus went at it as the king of swords and then they're coming back okay so Taurus went at it as, as the king of swords there was conversation everybody was on the same page and this person is like yes ma'am yes sir yes ma'am yes 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 honesty fairness yes 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 queen of swords this is the return communication because it's followed by the devil card. This devil is the knight, the king of wands in reverse, the emperor in reverse. This devil is this person, okay? It's toxic. This is also the second lover's card, okay? So there's something, some kind of something between the two of you where there is some deep desire, really really intense deep desire and it's manifested in this devil card because there has been toxicity in the past there's a potential for toxicity in the future but this card is representing 
the truth that's being spoken by this person that up until now you have not trusted you still may not trust them going into all of this kind of waiting to see how things work out right but there's some communication some truth that is spoken by this devil energy about this situation and you are okay with this devil energy i'm not feeling fear i'm not feeling toxicity i'm not feeling even though this card represents toxicity an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth but yet um it's just like addictions right maybe it's an addiction maybe maybe this person has something that really really does it for you somehow some way right but there's not a yucky feeling to this card it's what i feel is lust <laughs> i'll tell you the truth that's what i feel with this card i feel a lusty sense of raw between the two of you and that's what's going on raw is what's going on between the two of you truth is spoken by this devil okay truth is spoken by this devil that corrects the imbalance in the relationship it corrects the breakup from the past adjustment this is the adjustment that needed to happen okay okay so these little messages that come in they're all fine and dandy and everything like that but what really needed to happen was truth being spoken between the king of swords and the queen of swords about the misalignment of values in this entire situation and that's the adjustment that needed to take place um, uh, major arcana it's uh, akin to strength okay strength so the adjustment that needed to take place was the communication the straight up mature communication between the king of swords and the queen of swords that's the adjustment that needed to happen and that adjustment results in success and achievement with the queen of wands notice that this is in the upright now okay so they've gone from being the king of wands in reverse and the and the emperor in reverse to being the queen of wands upright okay so what is what what does what, what does this mean what difference does this make well you saw them as an asshole as the king of wands in reverse you saw them as somebody that was inflexible and just not even just not even with the emperor in reverse and now that y'all have talked with the king of swords and the queen of swords their temperament is now the queen of wands in the upright the feminine energy um, of this card is an energy of um, determination success achievement okay they're not they're not appearing as the dick now now they're appearing or the asshole or the bitch or whatever you want to call them okay but now they're appearing as somebody that is again reassuming their position of passion and fiery feelings and um, somebody that's attractive somebody that is charming right they've reassumed their title in your life in the upright the moon the moon so this puts you taurus in the energy of the moon right searching your intuition your subconscious mind and evaluating all of the communication that's happening the adjustment the change evaluating everything in the energy of the moon right hitting on your intuition tapping into that good old intuition and really giving it a once over now that everything has come to a culmination everybody's on the same page you've talked you've exchanged some truth now taurus is in their subconscious mind and their intuition figuring some last final details out what are these details the king of cups the king of cups uh, this is the card of scorpio like i said you could be dealing with a scorpio you could be dealing with an aries you could be dealing with anybody at all but whoever this person is they do it for you okay they really do they do it for you and there is a deep sense of lust for this person feelings right you have feelings for them 
they have feelings for you. That's what's been expressed, okay? That's what's been expressed. In this moon card, you're coming to terms with your feelings for them and their feelings for you. To the sun, happiness, success, and vitality. You want to give this another go. You do. You want to give it another go, followed by the last card in this spread, the sun card, happiness, success, and vitality. You're going to give it a go, Taurus. You see the potential for something beautiful to grow out of this relationship, and you're going to give it a go. Yay, Taurus. Hey, King of Wands, the return of the King of Wands. Maybe that's what I should call this, the return of the King of Wands, the, the rise of the King of Wands. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the rise of the King of Wands, okay? So I'm going to call it. All right, you guys. Well, that was your reading. It was good to see you again. I hope you enjoyed it. It's super long. My God, we're at 52 minutes already. It's 51 minutes. It's super long. But uh, there was a lot to say, okay? There was a lot to say. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, if you want a personal reading, hit me up, deepthoughtswithdana.com. And I love y'all. Namaste.